Hello everyone, this is Achuda welcoming you to this YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about Unit 8 Language and Linguistics based on MCQs. Uh, furthermore, MCQs will talk about it. So, first one Assimilation is mainly of dash types. 4, 2, 3, only 1. The answer is Assimilation is of 3 types. The preceding sound influencing the following sounds is an instance of dash assimilation. Progressive, regressive, reciprocal, none of the above. The answer is A. Progressive. The following sounds influencing the preceding one is an instance of dash assimilation. Progressive, regressive, reciprocal, none of the above. The answer is regressive. The two sounds influencing each other and combined to produce a third sound is an instance of dash assimilation. Progressive, regressive, reciprocal, none of the above. The answer is reciprocal. The voiced sound is denoting the plural morpheme in the word dogs is an instance of dash assimilation. Progressive, regressive, reciprocal, none of the above. The answer is Progressive. In the pronunciation of the word ink, the alveolar N becoming a vena sound is an instance of dash. Progressive, regressive, reciprocal, none of the above. The answer is regressive. Which of the following patterns of intonation is used in declarative sentences uttered as ordinary statements? The falling, the raising, the fall raise, none of the above. The answer is the falling term. Which of the following patterns of intonation is used in WH questions? The falling, the raising, the fall raise, none of the above. The answer is the following. Which of the following patterns of intonation is used in tab questions which imply that the speaker is certain about what is said? The following, the raising, the call raise, none of the above. The answer is the following. Which of the following patterns of intonation is used to indicate that the speaker implies things which are not explicitly expressed? The falling, the raising, the fall raise, none of the above. The answer is the fall rise. The initial sound in chair and jam are examples for dash. Plosives, affricates, fricatives, trills. The answer is B. Affricates. The R in red is articulated as a trill, lateral, frictionless constituent, semi vowel. The answer is trill. Semi vowels are known as approximants, laterals, sibilants, trills. The answer is approximants. The different concrete phonetic variation of the same phoneme are called dash. Allophones, homophones, homographs, homonyms. The answer is allophones. 
The term das is used to designate words which are spelled differently but pronounced alike and which are different in meaning. Allophones, homophones, homographs, homonyms. The answer is homophones. Certain morphemes have more than one meaning and can be understood in more than one way. They are called allophones, homophones, homographs, homonyms. The answer is homographs. Syllables in which the consonant functions as nucleus are called syllabic consonants, sibilants, suffixes, none of the above. The answer is syllabic consonants. Dash are also called prosodic features, suprasegmentals, morphemes, allomorphs, allophones. The answer is suprasegmentals. Dash are also called secondary phonemes, suprasegmental, morphemes, allomorphs, allophones. The answer is suprasegmentals. Dash is the degree of force with which a sound of a syllable is uttered. Stress, pitch, intonation, juncture. The answer is stress. Stress is used for the sake of dash. Emphasis, loudness, double meaning, none of the above. The answer is emphasis. Dash is the accent on certain words within the, a sentence. Semantics, syntax, sentence stress, none of the above. The answer is sentence stress. Dash refers to the phenomenon of pause in speech. Stress, pitch, intonation, juncture. The answer is D, juncture. Dash refers to significant changes of pitch and stress pertaining to sentences. Intonation, stress, pitch, juncture. The answer is intonation. The term ref dash refers to omission of certain sounds, syllables or even words in continuous speech. Alliteration, assonance, elision. None of the above. The answer is C. Elision. How many types of phonetic transcriptions are generally followed? Only one, two, innumerable, none of the above. The answer is two. Dash is concerned with the selection and organization of speech sounds in a language. Phonology, morphology, semantics, syntax. The answer is phonology. A minimal meaningful unit in the grammatical system of a language is called syllable, phoneme, morpheme, allomorph. The answer is morpheme. The ing in sleeping is an example of dash. A free morphine, free variation, bound morphine, none of the above. The answer is C, bound morphine. Morphine alterants are called allophones, allomorphs, minimal pairs, none of the above. The answer is B. Allomorphs. The final sounds st, d, and it in the words packed, bagged, and patted are instances of dash. Allophones, allomorphs, minimal pairs, 
none of the above the answer is allophones the shortened forms like photo for photograph is an instance of portmanteau onomatopoeia clipping meta analysis the answer is c clipping dance is a method of word formation whereby one or more syllables are removed from longer words portmanteau onomatopoeia clipping meta analysis the answer is c clipping dance is the process by which new words are coined by combining the segments of two different words portmanteau onomatopoeia clipping meta analysis the answer is a portmanteau dance involves a different analysis of the structure of the word by attaching a consonant at the end of a word or a vowel at the beginning of the next word portmanteau onomatopoeia clipping meta analysis the answer is d meta analysis words which represent the sounds of their reference are called portmanteau onomatopoeia clipping meta analysis the answer is b onomatopoeia the two great linguists who have contributed much to frame the device of immediate consonant analysis are called leonard bloomfield and noam chomsky leonard bloomfield and max muller max muller and hermann gunder edward sapper and ferdinand de sasser the answer is a leonard bloomfield and noam chomsky dance is the device used in modern linguistics for grouping together words and phrases so as to remove ambiguity of construction transformational generative grammar the phrase structure grammar immediate consonant analysis all the above the answer is immediate consonant analysis The theory of transformational generative grammar is contained in dash Chomsky's syntactic structures Chomsky's aspects of the theory of syntax Leonard Bloomfield's language both a and b The answer is d both a and b so it is contained in Chomsky's syntactic structures as well as Chomsky's aspects of the theory of syntax in transformational generative grammar the generative means to produce to develop to predict all the above the answer is d all the above so generative abdin solumbode it it means to produce to develop to predict which among the following are the main properties of grammar to account by its rules for the infinite sentences of a language to be explicit about the grammaticality of sentences to predict all and the only possible grammatical sentences of a language all the above the answer is all the above so grammar main properties of grammar abdin varumbodhu id ellame which among the following terms denote the formal agreement between various constituent elements of a language concord gerund phrase structure none of the above the answer is a concord the ipa came into existence in the year 1889 1998 1999 1888 the answer is A, eighteen eighty nine. 
The IPA was established by a group of Dutch, European phoneticians, Greek phoneticians, Indian philologist, American linguist. The answer is A. European phoneticians. The pronunciation of English practiced by the educated people at the public schools came to be called Dutch. Standard English received the pronunciation. Standard pronunciation, recognized pronunciation. The answer is B, received pronunciation. Phonemes which affect meaning change in the same linguistic environment are said to be in dash. Contrastive distribution, complementary distribution, Non-contrastive distribution, none of the above. The answer is A. Contrastive distribution. The phoneme, which do not occur in the same linguistic environment and which, when occur so, do not bring about a change in meaning are said to be in dash. Complementary distribution, contrastive distribution, non-complementary distribution, none of the above. The answer is A. Complementary distribution. Dash is a process of word formation wherein two or more existing words are simply combined. Compounding, portmanteau, derivation, back formation. The answer is A. Compounding. Dash is a process of formation where the new words are coined by combining the segments of two different existing words. Compounding, portmanteau, derivation, back formation. The answer is B. Portmanteau. Dash is a process of word formation by which new words are formed by attaching prefixes or suffixes to the base form. Compounding, portmanteau, derivation, back formation. The answer is C. Derivation. Dash is a process of word formation whereby new words are formed by subtracting a root by deleting final syllable which is misunderstood as a suffix. Compounding, portmanteau, derivation, back formation. The answer is D, back formation. Dash is a process of word formation wherein one or more syllables are removed from an existing long words. Compounding, portmanteau, derivation, clipping. The answer is D. Clipping. Words such as phone and photo are instances of compounding, portmanteau, derivation, clipping. The answer is D. Clipping. That's all about today's video. We'll catch you in the next video. If you like, kindly share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.